In today's video, I've got five facts about Sayu Ogiwara from the series Higa Hero slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Sayu's bio, personalities, voice actors, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. If you enjoy these fact videos, make sure to smash that like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. For more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Of course, if you want more 414 videos, why not head over to my Patreon where I have some exclusive videos, monthly hangouts, and early access to these videos before anyone else. Anyway, with that being said, grab yourself a beverage, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Today's video is sponsored by Moonlight Sculptor, developed by XL Games who are the team behind the popular MMORPG Arcage. The awesome thing about this game is that it is based off of the famous Korean light novel, The Legendary Moonlight Sculptor, and in the game you can take control of your destiny in the very immersive story that is based on the novel. But you can play your own way, you know, there are weekly tournaments, the Tournament of Champions, Battlefield of Valor, where you can earn epic rewards. You can also dungeon crawl through the chaotic entrance where the ever-changing dungeons are home to strong enemies and powerful bosses that will gift you more XP and rare treasures. Not in the mood for a fight? No problem. You can decorate your home, cook amazing food for buffs, go fishing, or craft your own weapons and armor. Want more buffs? Well, you can collect fragments to craft sculptures for your home for, yes, more buffs. And of course, every hero needs a companion, right? Well, Moonlight Sculptor has them, from pets to mercenaries, so you don't have to adventure alone. You can even play offline where you can collect loot and XP whilst in sleep mode, which I think is pretty awesome. Now, if you pre-register the game, you'll get exclusive character skins as well as other awesome items and benefits. Pre-registration ends May 24th, so make sure you head down to the description below and follow my links to pre-register on either Google Play or the App Store. As as well as that, make sure to join the Moonlight Sculptor Twitter and Discord for more. All links are in the description below. Sayu is the main female character of the series, along with good guy Yoshida. She is a runaway high school student from Hokkaido who ended up in Tokyo before being found under a lamppost by Yoshida, who took her in. Of course, being the protagonist, she made her debut in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. Sayu is currently 17 years of age. Her birthday is on the 27th of June, which makes her a cancer. Appearance-wise, Sayu is described as a beautiful young woman with a very cute face who has a great body for a high schooler, which is probably the most FBI warranting shit I've probably ever said. Anyway. Her hair is long and brown in color, worn down with bangs that frame either side of her face. Her eyes are a beautiful hazel color. It's also pointed out that she has a really cute nose. She is described as having a cute nose line with a round tip. It, it sounds strange, but uh, you know what? I kind of get it. Attire-wise, being a runaway, Sayu of course only has her high school uniform and a brown sweater, as well as black lingerie, before she is bought new outfits by Yoshida, though she still wears the school uniform from time to time. Sayu's personality has largely been shaped by the life she has led since running away from home. It had been six months between her running away from home and being taken in by Yoshida, in which time she had been forced to use her own body by seducing other men as a way of simply getting a roof over her head. Sayu is a girl that is very seriously confused, a girl who really struggles to deal with her problems head on and someone who really just wants to feel wanted. Every time a situation has occurred that has made Sayu feel trapped and uncomfortable, all she wants to do is run away and take the easier route, but at the same time she really wants someone to give her that slap in the face to tell her to stop running. This girl was, you know, victim to a lot of hate at the start, but in reality there is so much more to her and it really reiterates the fact that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Yes, she gave up her values and self-worth when giving her body to any scumbag, but to her it was a feeling that she was wanted. She felt that she was needed by someone and that she could be herself. 
So it was by no surprise that she was so conflicted on Yoshida's motives. He was letting her stay without any demands and she really didn't know what to do if she wasn't wanted by others. Sayu is also described as a girl who is really good at using different smiles to hide her true feelings and this is of course another defensive mechanism for her that protects her true feelings and helps her to avoid facing her problems. It wasn't until Yoshida told her to raise her standards that she could feel wanted in other means or in, you know, more dignified ways that she started to come to terms with who she really is, what she's really worth, and you know, to finally face her issues and reality head on. Due to this, we saw a true genuine smile from her and it was totally gorgeous, man. I love to see it. Sayu's Japanese voice actor is Kana Ichinose. She has voiced other characters such as Ichigo in Darling in the Franks, Yuzuria from Dr. Stone, Maki Shijo in Kaguya Sama, Mao Kamime from bottom tier character Tomozaki, and more. Now, at the time of the making of this video, there has not been an announcement of a dub for the series. If we do get one, leave her VA in the comment section below. And until then, let me know who you think would be the perfect dub VA for Sayu. Okay, let's look into Sayu's backstory. Now, I've already made a video going into more detail on this, as well as answering the question about why Sayu ran away, which I will link in the cards now and leave a link to that in the description. So for here, I'll do a brief rundown of it all. So Sayu is the daughter and second child to the prestigious Ogiwara family. Her older brother Isa is actually the CEO of a famous food corporation and a very successful, very rich man. Sayu comes from the city of Asahikawa in Hokkaido and was a high school student at Asahikawa Dairoku High School, which is a very decent school. Sayu ran away from this life and this was down to varying aspects, such as her absent father, unlawful loving mother, she was the victim of bullying at her school, and uh, then there was the loss of her one and only friend, Yuzuki, who took her own life. Events played out in a very depressing manner to which Sayu did what Sayu does. She ran away. She spent six months on her own before she was found and taken in by Yoshida. Originally, she was actually given 300,000 yen by her brother to spend on hotels and food, but when those funds ran out and she had still decided that going home was not an option, she began to sell her body for sexual favors to random men in exchange for a place to stay. Like I said, this is just a quick rundown of events prior to her encounter with Yoshida, and the video in the description will give you a lot more detail on the hows and whys. Okay, let's finish this video off with some trivia about Sayu. So starting with her name's meanings based on the kanji that are used in her name. The Sa means sand and the Yu means excellence, superiority, and gentleness, which I think is a really interesting mix of words that in their own way really describe her character pretty well. The excellence is a tribute to the true Sayu that Yoshida sees in her. Superiority attributes to her backstory in which she stood up to the bullies in her school. And gentleness is of course a nod to the fact that Sayu is a smart that just needs protecting. Her surname is also broken up. The Oji kanji means read or rush, and the Wara kanji means field or plain. Sticking with names for a second, but we know that while she was sleeping with the random guy, she was using an alias, keeping her true identity a secret. We don't know how many she was using or if she was just using this one, but we know that she went by the name of Miyuki. Once Sayu received her phone from Yoshida, we saw that her line ID is it's underscore Sayu. Finally, just like Sayu, her VA Kana Ichinose also comes from Hokkaido. But thank you so much for watching my video, Five Facts About Sayu from the series Hige Hero. If we can get 500 likes on this video, I'll make a fact vid for Yoshida. And if we hit 1000 likes, I'll make another video for Goto. Because of that eye cup size, man. Boobs. Che boy. Of course, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Discord, and my second channel, 414v2, for live streams and anime figure content. Links are in the description below. And of course, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss future fact videos. As always, a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, Brian, Blake, Andrew, BS Tuna, Zintac, Emelyn, Kivasei, Cody, and Chris for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to head on over there yourself to check out the amazing rewards, including a super special awesome exclusive series on Toka from Data Live for Patreons only. But that is it from me. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace!